What's going on, home chefs? Today's episode, we have cookies. Today, I have a soft molasses cookie recipe. You can use a cookie scooper, ice cream scooper, or a tablespoon to scoop out the dough. A good molasses cookie has a nice spice combination. It's soft and not overpowering molasses flavor. This recipe meets that criteria. Before we start baking, let's get the prep work out of the way, which is very important in baking. Bring one cup or two sticks of unsalted butter to room temperature and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. In order to get great baking results, it's best to weigh your ingredients with a digital scale. If you don't have a digital scale, use the fluff and scoop method. Measure out one cup of brown sugar or 213 grams. We're only using brown sugar because brown sugar is white sugar with molasses. If you have any lumps in your brown sugar, just break them up. Measure out one third a cup of molasses or 113 grams. Weigh out three cups of all purpose flour, 360 grams. Do not use self rising flour. The best flour for baking, in my opinion, is King Arthur flour. To your flour, add your spices. One teaspoon of ground ginger, one and one quarter teaspoon of ground cinnamon, a half a teaspoon of ground cloves, add one teaspoon of salt, and one and one half teaspoon of baking soda. In a bowl, add white sparkling sanding sugar or regular sugar to coat the cookies. For this recipe, we're gonna use a stand mixer. You can use a hand mixer, but the process may take longer to mix everything up. We're gonna use a flat beater for this recipe. It looks like this. Always use a flat beater when making cookies. Once the butter is at room temperature, add the butter to the stand mixer and mix on low for 10 seconds. Next, add the sugar and the molasses to the stand mixer. Mix for 90 seconds to two minutes on medium. Halfway through the process, stop the machine and scrape the bowl down. This ensures everything is mixed together. Now it's time to add the eggs. Make sure you add the eggs one at a time. After adding one egg, mix for 10 seconds. After adding the eggs, your dough will appear grainy. That's fine. Add two and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract paste or vanilla extract. Mix for a few seconds. Turn your stand mixer off and add the flour mixture. Mix on low for one minute. If you have any flour that wasn't mixed in, use a spatula to fold in the flour. Cover the dough with plastic wrap, place in the refrigerator for one hour. After the dough has chilled for one hour, take out to make some cookie dough balls. The dough should be about an inch and a half in size. This will give you a two inch cookie. Roll the dough in a bowl of sugar. Make sure you coat all sides of the dough. Place the dough on a baking sheet lined with parchment paper or a baking mat. When placing the cookies on a baking sheet, make sure you space them about two inches apart. I'm gonna space some cookies an inch and a half apart to show you what happens. Place the cookies in the oven and bake for 10 minutes. After baking, let the cookies rest for 10 minutes. As you can see, when you don't space the cookies out two inches apart, they will connect when spreading. These cookies are super soft. They have a nice ginger molasses taste to them and the sugar on top give a nice crunch to the cookies. Enjoy.